they have a game for them to play. The way that it, it ended, it sounded, it, the way it was portrayed, I wasn't there, but Larry Brown wasn't all that happy. Kind of rumblings of complaints and whatever, just it didn't feel like it ended well. Right. I'm curious if, if those relationships have been mended, if, if that was just blown out of proportion. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, don't, I have a final relationship with Larry Brown. Um, I can't speak for everybody, but uh, me personally, I'm fine with Larry. Larry's fine with me. Um, just at this point, we didn't want to go as it all were. Yeah. Um, but uh, this time around, we don't have any of that. We don't have any of that, and we uh, look forward to after the ceremonies that everybody's smiling and happy about what happened. How, how important was it for you to, to be on this team? You're, you're the one guy that didn't have a chance to be here the last yeah. two summers. Does that make you feel uncomfortable, make you feel no, like I, you need I to be feel, more eager? I feel more honored because they could have shown somebody else that was on the last two years. Mm -hmm. the team. And, um, for me, it's, it's a huge honor. I feel privileged to be here. And uh, I'm very proud to be on this team and have a chance to do it again. And uh, add a gold medal for, for, for four shots and win it. Um, but the guy, I mean, I'm, I get along with everybody on the team. They get along with me. We already have great team chemistry. so. Um, I, don't, I don't see it as a problem, I see it as a benefit. Did, did it help that Darren was on the team as well? Oh, he's great, man. Me and him, we do everything together, man. So, as far as your selection, do you think? Uh, I don't know. You know, actually, I got, I got, I got selected before he did. Um, okay. they, were, they were having a lot of tough thing. They had a lot of point guards. So, point guards. Um, that was tough. We had Chauncey's a stud. And all the guys that we have on the team were all studs, too. Mm -hmm. So, um, I actually called him before he called me. As far as put this in context of your career again, getting chosen, you weren't able list. to... It's the top of the list. I mean, I'm a second round pick like Michael Red is, and uh, we've been able to make it all the way to the top and be, have a chance to be a gold medalist, but we're going to be Olympians regardless. And uh, have a chance to win a gold medal, I mean, that separates you from the next guy to put a gold medal next to your name. Two-time Olympics. Yeah, two-time Olympics. Thanks for correcting me. Good to see you. Too. <laughs> Inner Gulf, Mike Tillery, Slam Magazine. How you doing? All right. Um, you know I'm a crazy Eagles fan, right? Are you? Yeah. I know you got this he, here, right? He made me for coming Eagles fan. Really? Again, straight up. Wow. And that's Hershel good to Walker. hear. Hershel Walker? Yeah. Wow. Um, could you could you could you talk about your familiarity with Coach K, especially just being the second go around with him, and how you can help the other players with his coaching style? You know what though? Uh, well, me and Coach have a great relationship. We're friends first, and obviously we work together at Duke. But everybody here already has a great relationship with Coach K because mm -hmm. they played with him the last two, well, two that's right, three right. years. So, that's true. Um, I mean, you go out there on the court watching practice in Vegas the other day, and everybody's talking to each other like we've been together for you know five, six years. And uh, it's great to have that chemistry. That's something that we were lacking. We didn't have the, the full team chemistry in, in Athens, but we have it already here. And that's going to help us, especially when we get to the tough games, um, down the stretch of games and in the Olympics. Could you talk about how this experience can help your physical and also your, your mental development as an NBA player? Oh, huge. I mean, this is the best of the best. You're going against different competition, international competition. Um, I guess other teams that have won a gold medal, like Argentina. Um, and for us, uh, every day in practice, we continue to improve because we're playing against the best, some of the best players in the world, just amongst each other in practice. So individually, uh, each of us gets a chance to push our limits against the best in practice, whether it be sprints or post work or jump shots or teamwork, whatever, two on two, three on three, whatever it is, and uh, we'll be able to take this back to our team to be better players individually. Okay, is this, is it, I mean, just playing with the other guys on the team. Like I think you just alluded to it. Is there, is there something you take from, say, playing a Chris with a Chris Bosh or Dwight Howard that you don't necessarily see during the NBA season? Yeah, without question. You know, Chris is, is one of the most skilled men that we have in the game, and uh, Dwight's one of the most powerful players we have in the game. And uh, for me, it's great to play against both of those guys. I get to learn so much from both of them, and uh, I'm sure we'll be able to take things from each other. Uh, one, one more. Is there a, a foreign player out there who you got your sights on that you want to woof it on the lane, <coughs> get it on his head, or anything like that? Or is there a certain player that you want to go up against? No, you know question? what? I'm not really. I'm not really concerned with everybody else out there. Mm -hmm. I'm really concerned with us. I think if we focus on each other, how we can make each other better. <coughs> Excuse me. The rest will take care of itself. Hey, one more question. Is there? Is there a certain like the typical basketball fan to get better since you're at the terms of uh, the Olympics? Quite frank, uh, we're gonna see that no matter what we go, bro. You know, if we win by one, we win by forty, we're gonna go win. Mm -hmm. 
answer the first question. Okay. The first question was about uh, is there a certain That's mentality right. you guys have as a group? We're going to win. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to do that. You know, it's going to be times during the game when things aren't going to go the right way. You know, get fouls, calls, turn the ball over. We're going to stay together because no matter what happens, we're going to win.